Hi, this is Mark at LearnHowToGarden.com and in today's episode of The 10 Minute Gardener we're doing an update on our pumpkins and squash uh, and summer squash that we planted earlier in the year. When we planted our squash earlier in the year I planted all of them in a brand new deep bed and this bed is a no dig deep bed basically. Um, it was created last autumn uh, if you have never seen how to create a deep bed there's a video on here I'll put a link under this one we did it in 30 minutes or whatever easy to do in 30 minutes we grew our potatoes in it and as anyone if you've been following know we had we had a real disaster with potato blight so we filled the whole bed with pumpkins and squash and all we've done since then really is feed them about every two to three weeks with the comfrey feed and we're getting to the point now beginning of October where we need to start taking some of them off. If we take the big ones off now with some of the warm weather we're getting it will allow the outside skins of those winter squash, the winter pumpkins to harden up slightly and some of them will store quite happily for two to three months. Um, and what you actually need to remember when you do this you need to take them off with a knife. The classic is to pull them off but it's not particularly good. What we need to do is when you take them off you need to keep we can look in here a piece of stalk so it doesn't rot in um, this is one of the medium sized ones we've grown what I love about this is that when we start to use this you can actually take segments um, we tend to use it two main ways really we bake it uh, and make a really really nice roast pumpkin soup um, spicy pumpkin soup using our own chilies and we also make uh, a pumpkin risotto uh, butternut squash risotto most people would call it but I think these have much better taste so as you can see for very little effort you get quite a good return on your investment I'll just cut a couple of others off to show you the different types that we've grown and this just shows you the different sorts this is a little uh, pot marrow that will have a slight chestnutty flavour um, and this is an American variety so again very very different to look at very different sizes uh, these you tend to eat in one sitting the much bigger ones obviously you're going to sort of need to use over two or three days one of the other things that is really good about these though is when you open this up and there are all the seeds don't throw the seeds away wash the seeds in a colander get them quite clean and put them in a really really warm oven on some grease proof paper and you can get toasted pumpkin seeds great snack you can sit there and pick at it put some nice sea salt on um, you know a bit of chili makes it nice and fiery nice for the evening the only other one I want to show you is our crookneck squash that we've been growing in a tyre in the compost heap um, at my mum's garden so we'll just get to my mum's garden and we'll show you you know how that's producing as well and this is the other alternative this is our crookneck squash these are growing quite happily sitting literally on the top of the compost heap in an old tyre these are a great alternative I find to your classic courgettes um, I grow both these have a slightly different taste these won't last the winter so we're going to have to use these up I suspect these will go into uh, a sort of vegetable stew today probably with some tomatoes chilli served with some couscous but this is a crookneck squash if you've never tried it I would really really high re highly recommend it great thing to grow nice and quirky to look at so that's Mark at Learn How To Garden saying that's an update on how our pumpkins have gone this year and our squash if you've never tried them they are brilliant because now sort of October time they're starting to come into their own and they'll quite happily keep until Christmas and they're worth a place in your garden next year it's coming up to that time where you're going to sort of have the seed catalogues dropping on the mat or you're going to be looking online at the new seed catalogues have a look at some of them I'll put down my recommendations I'll write a few sort of uh, tags underneath this video to give you the ones that I've grown over the years and really really like all chosen for flavour and taste and see how you get on so that's Mark again saying thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time